What's going on everyone? I'm Sean from Start to Finish Gaming and welcome back to Ragnarok for episode 2 on the custom map story mode series. In the last episode, uh, we started out on Ragnarok, got our starter material, and long story short, made our starter shack. If you guys haven't checked out that video in the right hand corner right about now, is a link sending you on over there. So definitely check out that video, then come on back to this one. But today guys, today, first of all, I've done a little bit of work on the base since the last episode. Nothing too crazy. I have made a porch out here, just uh, it looks a little bit nicer in my opinion. Um, and also I made some standing torches because when it gets dark, uh, it gets really dark in here, honestly. Um, but looking at the inside of the base here, uh, I put in two campfires also put in a bed basically so we have at least a place to small back into if we die i've also made a large storage box and i think in the future i'm gonna ship this one over a bit so i can actually fit a second one right in here just to give ourselves a little bit more storage because we're already halfway through with this storage so um and then obviously backyard we haven't done anything with um i think in the future i will be shifting the base on over a little bit this uh, this place has given me ideas i'm gonna be honest on uh building and everything like that but i'm really really excited overall we are sitting at level 16 uh which is kind of interesting actually because we can actually make the wooden raft i didn't realize that we were already at the level of this so all we have to do is get 250 wood and we can make this guy which is really nice because um this will give me at least a level or two but i think in the meantime i'm actually going to go ahead and make full hide armor just to give us a little bit more armor and honestly it's only going to help us, basically, and it's not really that much of a difference um, using hide versus cloth. This does um, tend to work a little bit better in colder areas, but the area that we're in is relatively okay. It's only 71, so we shouldn't run into any issues with it getting too hot or anything like that. Um, plus, we're going to be traveling to a few different places today. At least I think we are. We'll kind of see how the episode plays out. Um, but there is one area in particular that I might want to take a trip over to um, where uh, it gets a little bit cold. So we'll kind of figure that out and see how it goes. But first, let's get ourselves 250 wood and then go from there. But first things first, just in case if we have any issues here, uh, let's go back into first person. Um, I am going to be kind of switching between first person and third person. Honestly, when it comes to like the canoe and stuff personally i like to have it in third person when it comes to actually running around and everything first person so bear with me as i'm trying to figure out what the uh best things for this series are gonna be but um let's head on over i am bringing some uh arrows and stuff with me just in case we run into any issues or anything like that we'll see what happens um it's been about eh, i'd say 45 minutes to an hour since I've actually recorded the last episode, so we'll kind of see what everything looks like out here. Now, I've kind of been thinking about it between the episodes. I think um, if I'm doing a little work on the base, kind of like with this episode, I'll keep the server on and then like come back to it in like an hour and then kind of record the next episode. Like if I'm planning to do multiple episodes in that day, but I think once I'm actually done recording, I'm going to shut off the server because one... Who knows, something can spawn in in our area and just kill everything, and uh, I'm not going to know what the heck the reason was why. <laughs> uh, there is a bit of an issue with that, though, is the fact that because I'm actually stopping the server, I'm turning it off, when the server does turn back on, it will actually do a destroy wild dinos, which means, theoretically, we can spawn back in and have a Therizino or something right by our base. So there is that extra little bit of a fear factor, if you will. But I think that's just going to work out a little bit better, honestly. So at least I know kind of what's going on at all times on the server. But we'll, we'll figure it out and we'll see, basically. Um, I think what I'm going to do, too, is when it comes to this raft that I'm actually about to make now, because I think we have just enough. No, maybe it's 250. It is 250. I thought it was 150. Um, once we actually make this raft, I think we're going to slowly bring it on out to uh, more of the ocean. I don't think it makes sense to put the raft in here. And I think that's going to be a side project that I'm going to work on eventually. I'm going to make like a little dock area where we can have the raft and we'll use the canoe from the raft area to actually come on in here and everything like that. Just try to keep it a little bit more immersive, a little more realistic. Um, and I might as well also kill these dodos too, because might as well get a level or two. But we did get a level doing this, which is awesome. So now we're sitting at level 17 and we're almost at level 18. So honestly, probably killing these guys is going to work out really well. That's a 156. Uh, that's a 66. So might as well kill him first. There we go. Let's get some more hide from that. 
Uh, this is a 162. That's a 156. I totally missed it. I was a foot away. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try this again. All right. Don't go in the water. No, 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 no. All right, fine. Let's go. Go swimming and hitting at this guy. Oh my gosh. Can I actually not catch him? Because I'm like so slow. He's going to get away. I killed him. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, now we got to go track down that other dodo. Gotta love how this is how we actually start out this episode by literally taking a quick little swim in the water and getting, uh, trying to kill some dodos here. Where is the third one? Okay, so the third one's kind of hung out on land, which is fine. Uh, let's get back on over to that one and kill him, and hopefully that'll give us another level. That'll actually be kind of cool. All right, dodo. Oh, now you're gonna run. Okay. There we go, and we got another level out of it. Sweet, so now we are looking at level 18, um, which is really awesome, honestly. We're looking really good in this series so far, but we also haven't really run into too many issues, which of course is gonna be um, the difficulty factor here, but we'll see kind of how that goes. Let's get on here. Let's get out to the ocean a little bit, and we'll kind of place this uh, raft for right now. I think, honestly, the best place to put the raft is actually where we started out right in that little dome i think might be the best area to kind of put this and i can build like a little like um almost like a little shack there or something like that um more like a boathouse if you will if you guys know like um like all the uh yacht clubs and stuff like that always have like their boats lined up but then they also have like a little um like a little shack basically like a little place where everyone can kind of hang out and whatever so i think what i'll do is i'll kind of make just like a little uh dock or something out here and maybe put like a little um house or something like that maybe a little structure i don't really know yet but obviously at the start of series um i just get so many like ideas filled in my head of what i want to do so we'll see what actually comes to uh fruition and everything but uh we're gonna head on over here there should be a way to get into this area there it is. There's a little cove. Yeah, I think this would be a good idea to kind of put just the... I'll put the raft in here, basically. Now, what's really nice about using a raft here on uh, Ragnarok is that there are no... Oh, that's an Ichthyornis. Ooh. Okay, that might be a bit of an issue to deal with. I'm going to kind of head over here for a second. I'm going to kind of drop myself right here so I can put the boat... Kind of throw him down. Okay, so we got the raft. Sweet. We have the canoe. Does, does the canoe have anything in it? Yeah, it's got a few things. Okay. Um, That's not too, too bad, though. I can still kind of work myself around. I don't want to bother that Ichthyornis, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Let's go back to base first, because I want to make a few things. I really want to be level 20, at least, before we make this trip of where we're going today. And it's going to be a bit of a trip, but I think it's going to be a necessary one. Um, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to head back to base real quick. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself um, some mortar and pestles, because we do have the narcotics, and we do have the... Um, and we do have the spoiled meat. I can actually kind of split the stack, which I probably should do now i have 49 here i don't have any in here okay so you know what i'll kind of just throw that in there for now i think what i'll do is though i'll kind of split the stacks and everything like that so we're actually able to make narcotic now oh narcotics at level 20 so i actually can't make narcotic yet hmm. all right i think i'm gonna have to go back to base regardless because i do want to make some mortar and pestles and a few things around base like a campfire and stuff like that too so we can kind of get our armor all colored and everything like that you know the the, the stuff that you're supposed to do right at the start of the uh series and everything like that make your armor all the actual natural colors that it's supposed to be and uh yeah i don't know we'll kind of figure out what else we're gonna do from there all right so we have a dead lystro um I don't know from what, but might as well get some uh, more hide and meat from this, basically. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it actually got killed from, because it's not from the fish. The fish don't aggro to it. I wonder if there was something like a raptor over here that actually killed a lystro and the other one kind of ran away. And it ended up in the water. So I might have to actually look around this area. Ooh, there is a raptor over there. Ooh. Okay. 
All right, at least we're in our little cove, so we don't actually have to worry. Oh my God, there's the raptor. Uh, I'm starting to kind of figure out what the heck is going on. Okay, yeah, the raptor is kind of terrorizing the area, but if we let him sit there just in the water for a bit, he actually will end up dying. So um, I think I'm going to kind of just let him be and everything because, you know, I could end up actually killing it, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the best using the gun. I'm not the best using the bola, so... I think I'm just going to play it safe and kind of just slowly head back to base here. Um, actually, I do need stone and stuff like that, so I actually do need to kind of park the boat somewhere first. Um, yeah, I guess, we, I guess we'll be okay. I guess if the raptor comes up, we can uh, deal with it if we have to, but only if we have to. Um, but a couple of things I want to get done in this... Oh, yeah, it's right here. Okay. Let's see if I can switch back to first person. Can I actually bullet him? Oh my god, I can bowl him. It's a 162. What a shame. All right, well, I'll get some levels. At least I'll get some uh, good XP from this, basically. There we go. What a shame. 162 I had to kill. That would be great. Last episode, we saw a 174 uh, Pteranodon. Now we see a 162 Raptor. Oh my gosh. All right, so I think I actually have to head over to that little area because I am going to need some stone. Um, let's see. I, like I said, I want to make a cam I want to make a... Where is it? Mortar and pestles, obviously. So we need 65 each, which is fine. I usually like to make even numbers, so I'll make two of those. Uh, and flint and stone. I need another 75. So you know what? Let's kind of hedge over here and just start hacking away at this. And Dodo, you're not going to be here for long either. Um, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. All right. That's 90 stone right away. See a couple of dodos that are slowly going to be taken out. One, two, and cooking pot. Sweet. Okay, so I think we're good there. Let's uh, kill these guys. Let's see if I can get another level. That would actually be awesome from this. Uh, 114. Wow. All right, so I already got my level, actually. It was from making the mortar and pestles and stuff like that. Uh, so what are we sitting at? Level 19, I believe, now? Uh, where did that other dodo go? Like, right here, right? Oh, there it is. There's my dodo. <laughs> Oops, wrong way. Let's do it this way. Uh, yeah, Lystro, I think you're going to have to go to... I actually don't mind having Lystros. They're actually really, really good, especially starting out. Um, but they're just so slow moving that, like, it's literally wherever you tame it, you kind of have to have your base, like, right next to where you tame it. Like, it's just... Oh my god, they're so slow moving. Okay, we are sitting at level 19, like I said. Uh, let's see here. I can make wooden chair, wooden sign. I can make a bookshelf. Bookshelf might not be too bad, actually, to make. Uh, maybe not now, but in the future. Um, I thought there was another Dota. Oh, it's all the way up there. Okay. Now nah, we're not going to worry about it. Let's head back to base. Let's put the stuff down. Uh, and let's start dyeing up our clothes and stuff like that. All right, so I think for right now, I'm just going to put the mortar and pestles outside here. Um, I have ideas to kind of put it in the house eventually, but we have a little bit of work to do before I can do that. So I think just placing them out here will be totally fine. Now, um, what I'm actually going to do is we're not going to worry about uh, dyeing our clothes and everything right now. Um, we'll do that eventually, but we're not going to bother with that right this second. Um, instead, I think we're going to head out on our adventure. Now, I wouldn't mind bringing the canoe with me. But I think for right now, it probably just makes the most sense not e to actually bring the raft uh, just because of the size of it and everything. So I'm actually going to put all of the uh, food and the narcotics in here and everything like that. Um, the water skins will actually just kind of hang out in here. I've actually made m four more water skins just to make this process a little bit easier and everything like that. But what we're going to do is actually get our first tame or at least attempt to get our first tame. I am going to take some of this. I do have to put a couple of these things back. Uh, a sleeping bag will come with us, but that can hang out in here for right now. Uh, first things first, though, I kind of want to check out the water behind us because there is a lot of water behind us, and I think there's a very small chance that there could be otters in there, which would actually be really cool if we could actually get an otter right now. Um, definitely not expecting that to be our first tame, but if it is, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, biggest concern is actually getting out of here. 
um, which I don't know how that's going to happen. And I don't know what's in there. So we could potentially lose everything that we just got and everything like that. But I kind of want to see. And it looks like, oh, it looks like there's a way to actually go there. So we have to come back over there. Over there. Okay. All right. Well, if we die, we die. No big deal. I kind of want to see what's in here, though. Oh, wow. It goes deep. Holy crap. All right. So it looks like we have salmon in here. Looks like we have colacanths in here. Looks like we got a Noglin following me in here. <laughs> um, no, I don't see any otters. Is that an otter? <gasps> that's an otter. No, no way. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's get our stamina back. I think that's an otter. Oh my god, that would be really cool. Oh my god, we do have an otter in here. Sweet, and it's an X otter. Oh, that's awesome. What level are you, buddy? 66. Okay, that's not bad at all. Um, I'm definitely going for it. I mean, 100%. I don't care what the taming effectiveness is and everything on it. Just using normal fish and everything. I don't think I'm going to use the... I don't think I'm going to use the X... Like, this... This... Sabertooth Salmon. Because one... Yeah, 108. I will never be able to kill that. Plus, they'll all actually end up coming after me. Which is not going to work. Like, that's a 24. That's definitely possible. But I think the Colacants are just going to be easier to kind of deal with and everything. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy. It's a 66. Um, there is another one further down that way, or at least I think I saw one further down. Um, but if we can get this one, that would be absolutely awesome. I just need this thing to... Did it feed it? I got really close. Did we actually feed it? <gasps> we did feed it. Sweet. Okay, so now we got to find some more. Okay. Oh, God. And I got to get some air. Jesus. <laughs> That's going to be a big concern, is obviously that there is a lot of water in here, but it's also a big... Yeah, there is another otter. Oh, sweet. <gasps> and it's an exo... Ooh, that's an aberrant otter. Interesting. Okay. There we go. Take that. I'm not going to worry about the aberrant just yet, because we're already taming this thing. I want to see if we can get this thing. All right, we're at two. Uh, here's going to be the problem. Uh, eventually... <laughs> We're going to run out of cola cans, so we're going to have to actually take out these Sabertooth Salmon. I might just have to do it now. It might just have to be that way. If I can get a Sabertooth Salmon close to me, I can actually shoot it from out of the water, too. But there's a cola canth right there. Sweet. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't, don't you run away. Oh, come on. What level are you, buddy? Oh, God, and I have, like, no stam either. All right, I gotta get my stand back. I can't worry about that right this second. Oh my gosh. We're gonna get an otter. All right, so I have another Colacanth ready to go here. It's gonna take a little bit. I know we're probably not using the best fish and stuff for this. It's not really the best, like, percentages and whatever. There we go. We're at, like, 50-ish percent. Okay. I am not gonna kill... I need Colacanths. That's what I need. There's a Colacanth. <laughs> And that's a 1.0. That one might actually be pretty good. Okay, so let's get our oxygen back. Let's grab you. All right, where are you, Otter? 75%. This might be it. This might be the last feed for this thing. That would be awesome. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Feed. Shoot, I missed it. Uh, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, 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 no. Feed. Come on. Hang out there for a second. Come on. Feed. Here we go. We got an otter. Sweet. That's awesome. Okay, it's level 97. It's not great. Um, suffocating yet again. Let's get out of the water here for a quick second because I want to see this thing. That is awesome. Our first tame is an otter. Okay, let's get this guy on land. Let's check this thing on out. Now, this is an X otter, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, look at it. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, sweet. Not going to name it just yet, but we're going to actually get a hold on to this thing right now. That is awesome. I do want to check out the other one, though, actually. So uh, let's go back in here. Let's turn this off. 95% eff effective uh, taming effectiveness. That's actually not that bad. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to kind of work my way over this way. Have a little bit of food now. It looks like there's no way to get out of the water there, so I would be forced to swim all the way back. But there is another otter in here, and I kind of want to take a look at it and see what level it is, basically. Just for, you know, shits and giggles at this point. Might as well. Uh, let's see kind of what we got. It's right here. Sweet. Uh, what level are you, buddy? What level are you? 114. Yeah, screw it. I'm going to tame you also. Why not? If I can, why not? Um, 
There was a lot underneath this. I've actually never been down here. So I don't know what the heck is actually here. But I do have to watch out for my stamina, though. That's going to be the biggest thing. You know what? We're going to come back for that otter later. It might be... It might be not here. It might, uh... I don't know. We'll have to see. But I think... Yeah, I think we're going to come back for it later. Unless... Unless you're a really good Colicanth. If you are, then I'll kind of work with this. But... Is that 1.4? That's 1.0. Oh my god, my otter ate it. I totally forgot about that. The otter will literally eat it. Come on. I don't want to die here. <laughs> Alright, let me get a little bit of food for this otter and everything like that. And then we'll uh, we'll kind of continue. I'm not going to worry about it too, too much right now. Um, I do need to get cola cans for this guy. All right, I'm going to get out of this water for now. I think the otter is more than full. We'll check it on out over here. But let's get our otter. Let's double check to see. Oh, it's already got a level. Sweet. Okay, yeah, it's got 182. That's more than enough. So if you guys don't know with otters, they give you both a hypo and a hyperthermic uh, insulation. So best thing to do is just bump up their melee specifically. I mean, obviously the best is get a male and a female, breed them, get the imprint and all that fun stuff. But for right now, just having an otter with us as our first team is absolutely awesome. And the thing looks absolutely cool. awesome. <laughs> we'll give him a little hat and everything. I'll end up dying at some point again, and then I think I'll just give him a little hat or something uh, just to kind of uh, keep him festive. But anyways, um, I think at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to take a long trip here. Um, I actually was not expecting to get an otter, but that's actually really cool. Um, I have 90 stone arrows. I think that's going to be fine. Is there anything else I need to bring with me? I think we're pretty good for this trip. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the canoe out. Oh, the canoe might be beached. If it is, it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's beached. Um, so what happens here sometimes is the canoe just kind of hangs out in the water and it'll slowly kind of start drifting towards the land or it drifts that way. Um, if it drifts towards the land, you'll get it beached basically. So you just have to go kind of near the water again and kind of just rinse and repeat, throw it on down and call it a day. Um, I don't think I need anything else for this journey though. Just a sleeping bag, just some arrows and we should be good to go. Um, sleeping bag just in case, because this might not be good. <laughs> but I want to make this journey anyways to get one of our first teams and everything like that. It is a far journey, but it's definitely worth getting it. I will see you guys in the Highlands. All right, everyone. Welcome to the Highlands here on Ragnarok, which is home to... The Equus. Yes, the Equus is one of the best early game tames to get, in my opinion. Um, I really, really like it, honestly. We're going to use this little uh, dock and everything right here. I'm um, going to check out this area first. This might not be the best area to really come into, because we do have to travel a little bit to get to rock carrots and stuff like that. But we'll kind of we'll kind of play with this and see how this actually works um if it's actually a little too dangerous i'll get into the raft and we'll actually go to a different uh drop off area but anyways um yeah it's actually kind of cold up here so we are looking at 76 degrees right now which is actually not too too bad honestly um but it will get colder and everything especially the later we get it's currently about 2 3 p.m in game so we'll kind of see what we're looking at. Now, um, not only are there Equuses here, there's actually also Ovis here, which is actually really awesome. But the biggest issue is you have a lot of dangerous things. You have Aloes here, um, and you have the infamous Giga here. <laughs> so we're going to have to kind of keep an eye out and everything like that for those guys. Um, not sure what else. Ooh, our first Equus. We don't have anything to tame it with yet, but so we're not going to worry about checking levels and stuff like that, honestly. We are going to make a little bit of a trip over to where the rock carrots and stuff are, but again, I don't kind of want it to run around explore first because I really like this area. Um, but if you guys don't know, if you're in the Highlands, head on over to this little um, area here. Basically follow this river, essentially. Um, okay, they're both out of range, so I don't know what's going to happen at this point. I think they'll have to... Uh, I don't think anything will happen until I go back in their range. But anyways, um, just kind of come in here and you'll get your uh, crystal, basically. So the problem is, because we're using a stone pick, um, there is a chance of me getting no crystal out of this. I need literally two crystal. That's it. I can get four. That's amazing. But two is really the what I'm looking for here, at least. And there is a lot of crystal in here. But because we're using a stone pick, there's a very small chance of getting this. But we'll see what happens. Two crystals, sweet. Okay, um, now at this point, those three, if I can get two more, that would be amazing, but it's not 
the end of the world if I don't. Oh, come on. If I got one crystal, come on. Give me the second one. Just... Oh, <laughs> I got three crystal out of the four that I actually needed. Damn it. All right. That's fine. All right. We're going to have to head out and get ourselves some rock carrots at this point. We also have to kill something, which if I head down to the beach, there might be a dodo or something like that. But I also want to see kind of how this fight ends up working out here. Because there is a chance that that Peronto will kill the aloe. And the aloe is dead. Sweet. Oh my god, that's actually perfect. Because now, I can just harvest this aloe and get a ton of stuff. Now this Peronto... I might wait a second. Because this Peronto could actually... I could hit the Peronto by mistake. This is a 120 aloe. Wow. Okay. Um, But... If you guys come over to this area anyways, it's going to be a little bit loud because of this pronto, but if you guys come on over here, you can actually grab a few things. I'm going to grab some Savaroot, which are potatoes, and then these little guys are rock carrots, which is this is what we're going to need in order to uh, tame up some Equuses over here. You can use Mejos and stuff like that, but one, the taming effectiveness is really low, and it's only like 1 or 2% per feed versus the rock carrot, which is going to be a heck of a lot more, honestly. Um, oh, that's actually perfect because, yeah, this is going to get our hide. Okay, we are looking awesome. Let's get this stuff. Uh, let's see. Does it get, aloe have anything? <gasps> it has a metal pick. Oh, wow. Okay, perfect. Oh, my God. I could have actually waited for this and gotten the crystal this way. All right, well, we got a metal pick. That's awesome. Um, I am going to take the... No, I'm not going to take anything else. That's fine. Um, all right. Look at that. And we get some prime meat out of it, too. That is awesome. Okay, prime meat, not really necessary right now, but... Spyglass is, oh man, really excited about this. Slowly progressing. Uh, we have 25 rock carrots right now, which is not bad. We should be able to tame Equus with that. I'm going to be honest. We should be able to. Um, oops. Oh, wait, I always put, oh my gosh. I got to kind of switch everything around because I always put this here. I guess we'll put the primitive sword at the end. That's totally fine. Um, but what I'm going to do at this point is I think I'm just going to run around. Uh, the first Equus I see I'm just going to tame, because honestly, um, wait, what am I doing? There we go. Rock carrots in the last inventory spot. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm gonna, just going to run around here. Uh, first Equus I see, I'm going to tame. Doesn't matter if it's a level 6 or anything like that, because I can just move around this place so much quicker with an Equus, and then find a higher level. And the idea is... I'm not going to do what I traditionally do in the series, which is, like, I'll breed them and stuff like that. I'm actually not going to breed the Equuses, interestingly. I'm just going to go for the highest level one. Whichever one's the highest level, that that's what we take home. That's it. So my plan is I don't actually want to do breeding and stuff like that until I have Cryos, which is level 46. And the reason for that is is if I run around here and continuously get Equuses and stuff, eventually I'm going to probably find a 180 or at least a really high level, 174, 168, what have you. And eventually I'm going to breed them. And what's going to... Whoa, there he is. What level are you, buddy? 30. That'll still... Oh my god, that'll still destroy everything. <laughs> but there's our Giga. Anyways... Um, I'm not going to bother with breeding until level 46, like cryos and everything like that, because especially at a low level, if I actually get two high level Equuses and I start breeding them and the kids don't end up being good or anything like that, then I'm going to want to kill it, obviously. So, um, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to gain a ton of XP from that. And it's just going to, we're going to skyrocket, honestly. If I go ahead and breed them now, we're sitting at level 20. I can guarantee by the time I get a good Equus, like with the right stats and everything like that, I'm going to be at least level 25 to 30. And that's a bit too high for right now. Um, so I think I'm just going to kind of say, no, I'm not going to do it. Um, I know I could basically just breed them and just take the first one regardless, but... If I don't get the perfect stats, I'm going to want the perfect stats. And I don't want to get into that position of like, should I do it? Should I not do it? That kind of thing. So I think I'm just going to hold off on breeding in general until I actually can do cryos. Uh, the reason is, one, by the time I'm level 46, um, one, XP is going to be kind of... It's going to be tougher to level and everything like that. Um, so killing the babies isn't going to be as much of a XP amount, if you will. Um... And the second, and the second reason is too that um, 
I'll be able to use cryo sick and everything like that on the kids so I get to do 10 times damage. So I'm not wearing down my weapons. I'm not wearing down my uh, stuff like that, basically. So that's kind of the gist behind it and kind of the thought process. But um, let me look around here. Let me see if I can find some equuses and everything like that. And then uh, we'll get started here, which I saw some equuses down there earlier, which we might have to head back that way. But a bit of a trip, I'm going to be honest. I probably should have just parked over here like anyone else would, basically. But, oh, God, Ichthy Ornus. Um, so Giga number two is over here now. I guess it just took a little bit for it to spawn in, but we have a second Giga. Okay, that makes things a little bit... That makes me really worried. Okay, we're going to head back towards our stuff. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if there's a second Giga here, what about down there? Like, could there be another Giga, technically? Oh my god, this is the reason why you don't come to the Highlands this early, guys. <laughs> Alright, so first Equus sighting, our Equus 120. That is actually perfect. Um, again, I haven't worked my way down there yet, so I don't know if there's a Giga. <laughs> but if I can see the Equus, if I can see the Galleys, I think we're okay. I feel like at that point I would see the Giga. But, I don't know, we'll have to see. I mean, I didn't see that other Giga before, and that thing just showed up. So, uh, yeah, there's there's that. We have two Gigas here in the Highlands, and it could be three. I don't know. Um, but we'll have to see. Thankfully, they're low levels, so it's totally fine. But also, too, thankfully, once I, uh, I log out for the night and everything like that, um, once I'm done with episodes today... Um, ooh, there's another Equus. Um, everything will end up respawning in next time I actually go for the next episode. So, hey, there's another Equus, 102. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to start with this 120. This could be the best one here. If it is, then this is our Equus. Um, if it's not, if we find a higher level Equus than that, then we go for that one. But um, it wouldn't be bad having multiple ones, basically, to bring back to base, especially if one dies and stuff like that. Oh, my God, I just saw a tail over there, but I thought... Okay, I think it was the galley. Okay. Woo! Getting myself all worked up because I literally seen two gigas. Um, all right, but very simple with this process. I really like the colors on this thing. Um, but just make sure you have the rock carrots in your um, the the zero slot is what they call it on PC. But for us, it is in the uh, last slot basically. Um, and all you do is just simply walk up to them and then feed and then ride and then go so anytime the thing bucks is when you actually press y to actually feed it i believe is it y oh sh i actually forget this it's one of those things you do it so many times that you don't actually think about it is it y i don't remember i might actually not get this team oh no it is y okay <laughs> it's one of those things that you do so many times and you just like you know how to do it but it's like when you explain it you're like Am I doing it right? Do I press Y? Is that going to make me jump off or anything like that? Um, this taming's going really quick, actually, which is awesome. Um, but it looks like... Yeah, it looks like we did three feeds, like, right away, and now this one's taking a little bit longer. Um, but I do have to worry, because to the left of me as of now is where those aloes are. So I kind of have to uh, be mindful of that. Um, unfortunately, as you're taming an Equus, uh, you can't control the Equus or anything like that. So it's kind of, it has a mind of its own. It's going to move around wherever it wants to. You kind of just hope and pray that it doesn't move into the direction of a aloe, giga, whatever the case may be. Something that's going to actually go after it and attack it. And there we go. There is our, our Equus. And this guy, I mean, honestly, it's all black and white and everything like that. So it's going to be named Oreo. That's what we're going to call this thing. I don't know. I like the name. We're going to go with that. All right, so let's take Oreo around here. Let's start uh, checking out some Equuses and see if we can get a higher level than that. Uh, what's really good about the Equuses in general is the fact that I think that's that 102 that I saw before, or 108. 102. Um, they're really good at gathering, honestly. They're actually really good, especially if you get yourself um, an imprinted one and stuff. They they can gather a ton of berries for you and everything like that. Plus, here on Ragnarok, there's these yellow ones that give you just like... I feel like you get so many more berries from this, and there's so many fields in the Highlands area, this area that we're in, that just have like a ton of these things. So literally, you can get hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of berries like instantly essentially um but let's take a quick look down here the biggest issue with this area is um yeah you have uh yeah that's that's the wyvern trench yeah 
<laughs> and because I'm on a server, um, if you guys don't know, typically on servers and stuff like that, um, you get more spawns, naturally. Um, is that a rock or is that a Equus? It's a rock. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll get more spawns naturally on a server that you're running versus um, single player. So Wyverns, yeah, th there'll be a lot of Wyverns in there, essentially. And because we're getting kind of close to the area, they could kind of start poking out and everything like that. So we kind of have to be careful of that. Um, not only do you have to worry about Wyverns here, you also have to worry about... Um, Arthur Plur and everything. You got dung beetles here, which is kind of cool. Is that a 160? Okay, 130. Um, just a 30 dung beetle, I mean. Um, yeah, you have a lot of dangerous stuff here, honestly. You have mantises here. You have um, Aranios, which are spiders here. Yeah, you got a lot of stuff. So don't go too close to the trench unless you're, like, ready for it, unless you're equipped for it, basically. Um, but like I said, I'm going to take a quick look around here, see if I can find any other high-level Equuses. If I can't, no big deal. This one's fine. I actually really, really like this one. I like the colors. Yeah, it would be better if it had better melee and stuff like that. Um, oh, yeah, we get purple flowers here. So if you guys don't know, purple flowers on this map, um, you can get Y seeds apparently from it. I didn't know that, but that's actually really, really cool. Um, but also, too, if you use a sickle, you can get yourself some uh, silk, which silk you can actually use for desert cloth armor and stuff like that. Um, our Equus, let's see, what are we going to bump levels in cheese? Probably weight, honestly. Probably a combination between weight and melee for this thing, because if it gets into a fight with something, it's going to die. It is what it is. I kind of have to just understand that and let it be but um once you get an imprinted one and stuff like that it's actually a heck of a lot better uh to work with with fighting but another really cool thing about an equus is, is the fact that if you actually um i could have sworn we saw an equus over here before where'd it go i definitely did okay anyways we'll have to look around and see if we can find that guy um what's really cool about them is they have this bucking attack um, which if you're on, if you're on console, it's left trigger, essentially. Right trigger is their main attack, left trigger is the secondary attack. Uh, left trigger basically will, um, help knock out creatures and stuff, which is really cool. Um, let's see. I know it's not. Eh, it's a 66, it's fine. There was an Equus over here, though. I, I feel like I saw it over here, and now it's gone. Uh-oh. <laughs> I mean, if it's gone, there's one of two reasons why it's gone. One of them, it's just kind of moved somewhere else, and I just haven't seen it yet. Or two, there's something in the area that's causing them to not be here anymore. Um, I'm not even in the right spot. Oh, there's aloes here, too. Okay. I'm not even in the right spot anyways. I actually have to be a little bit further down. I thought my boat was right here, but it's not. <laughs> Maybe that's why I didn't see the Equus, because we actually have to work ourselves down a little bit. Um, yeah, there's our boat. Okay, so we came up this way. And I saw the Equus over here. That's what it was. Okay. Oh, so it might have been that 10-whatever that we saw was the Equus. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, what level are you, buddy? 60. All right, never mind. <laughs> wow. Okay, that is awesome. I really want this one. <laughs> oh my god, I know I said I wasn't going to breed and everything, but look at that. I can make this thing look like a slushy. <laughs> With the blue and the red and the black and the white. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, let's let's go get this guy. This is a 168. Um, I think we'll take these two on back, and I'll kind of figure out. Of course, I, I said, like, no, no, I'm not going to breed. And now I'm like, but the colors. <laughs> Oh my god, this thing could look amazing, especially with the spots of the other one. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, let's see how this process goes and everything. We're already at 35%, which is not too shabby. Um, like I said, taming on here is five times, I believe. Um, traditionally, in my single players, I do four, but because we have 180 dinos, um, I decided to bump it up to five as opposed to four. But thankfully, there's nothing bad in this area that should be a problem for us. Um... I guess unless a Giga wants to spawn in randomly, but I am digging this thing. This thing is definitely going to be named either Slushy or Slurpy. I think it's going to be Slurpy. <laughs> All right, and there we go. We have ourselves a male R Equus, and oh my god, look at the colors and everything like that. This is, this thing looks amazing. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's check out the stats of this one. So this one has 1862 in health, 2968 Sam, 331 melee, and 567 in weight. Now, I just want to check this one and see. Is this one better in any category? I did bump up in weight in this one, so I'm not really sure what the original weight is. I'd have to check it, but I think Oreo might have had the better weight to begin with. Because this one's 567... And this one's 618 now, so I'm actually not sure. And I've only bumped up one level. So I feel like Oreo might have had the better in uh, in weight overall, but we'll kind of have to figure that out. All right, guys, so we finally made it back to base. And oh my god, what a difficult journey it was, because I realized I did have to bring the raft in here to drop off the equuses. And oh my gosh, the branches out there that kind of give you little bridges to kind of walk across each little area... Oh my god, it was so difficult getting into those because it kept knocking the equuses off the boat and everything. But lo and behold, we finally got them back. Um, real, real excited about the progress we've made. I have decided that we're not going to work on metal. We're not going to work on any of that in this episode because, I mean, we got a lot done in this one. We got ourselves the two equuses. We made the raft. We went over to the highlands. And then we also got this cute little otter. Um, I have decided, guys, I know at the beginning of the episode, I said, like, no, I'm not going to breed or anything like that. I'm going to bring these equuses up, honestly. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the X on the server down to like 0 0.005 so I get zero XP gain from killing the babies because again I don't want to end up coming back next episode and be like hey we're level 40 you know what I mean so I hope you guys understand I do want to actually get an imprinted Equus because they are really good and I'm loving the colors on these things and I think the baby could look really nice once we kind of get these colors mixed up and everything like that and we'll kind of see what happens but I'm real excited about the progress we made in this episode I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button, questions, comments, leave it down below. If you're new to the channel or you've already been enjoying my content but you just haven't hit that subscribe button yet, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much to all my Patreons. If you would like access to my servers, if you'd like your name at the end of my videos, head over to my Patreon for more info. Link is in the description down below.